Teddy Roosevelt's accomplishments are so numerous, he's reached near legendary status in American history. An asthmatic child, he became a Dakota cattle rancher and big game hunter. He was a military historian who founded the Rough Riders and fought the Spanish-American War on horseback. He championed the construction of the Panama Canal, establishing American control of it, and founded five national parks. And in 1912, when shot in an assassination attempt, he finished the speech with a bullet lodged in his chest. But for all his toughness, he's also remembered for this little guy. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm Larry Bird. I curate the teddy bear. <laughs> teddy Roosevelt, Teddy Bear. Amulia and Raj are about to find out how the ultimate man's man got a toy named after him. Compared to cuddly teddy bears of today, this one looks downright realistic. Yeah, he, he definitely looks more of a bear. I mean, <laughs> yeah. The bears these too. days are just a lot more <laughs> right, chubby smile, all smiling around. At you. Yeah, yeah, they're smiling. Right. Few people know the full story of the teddy bear's unusual origins. It all started in 1902, when President Roosevelt went on a hunting trip in the swamps of Mississippi. His goal, a black bear. It should have been easy. Roosevelt was an accomplished hunter, and Holt Collier, one of Mississippi's best bear men, led the expedition. But after a day of fruitless tracking, it all went terribly wrong. Teddy had gone back to camp. He'd given up. And uh, a guide found a bear. The bear took out one of the dogs. And so the, the guide brained the bear and then tied it to a tree. When Roosevelt was summoned to kill his bear, he refused to shoot it. Aww. He said, this is not the hunt that I came to do. Yeah. This is not sporting. Uh... This attracted the attention of an editorial cartoonist who drew a cartoon of him refusing to shoot the mm. bear. Roosevelt could be caricatured as, you know, this guy with the big hat. Mm -hmm. Was he a big guy? No, he was not big. Yeah. Just widely acknowledged as a, just an outsized personality. He was, just a, he was a ball of energy. The cartoon inspired a Brooklyn candy store owner, Morris Mitchton, to create a toy bear and name it Teddy's Bear. And so the rest is history. The Teddies were an overnight sensation. And how old is this bear? He's, uh, well, 1903, so wow. 100 years. I just knew that it was named after Teddy Roosevelt, but I didn't know the whole story behind it. The real Teddy even gave a few as gifts. He also remained a passionate hunter. Just seven weeks after leaving the White House, Roosevelt was in Africa on safari for the Smithsonian. The expedition brought back hundreds of specimens. And he did finally get his bear. He came back, you know, five years later and did what he had come down to do the first time, which if he had done it the first time, there wouldn't be a teddy bear. Right, <laughs> yeah. 